Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, I want to talk about a major storm that's brewing that could potentially bring several inches of snow to multiple states over the next 96 hours. We're going to take a look at the states that are going to be impacted the heaviest by the, the large amounts of snow that are coming and possible power outages. So you want to definitely stick around for that. Also in this video, I received a video from Amanda and Calvin out of Morganfield, Kentucky. This video was from last night. It was captured on their outdoor security camera. The motion detector picked up something in the nighttime sky that appears to be a green fireball above Morganfield, Kentucky around 10.20 p.m. on January the 12th of 2022. I did go over and look at the American Meteor Society. This event was not reported at the American Meteor Society and it wasn't that late either. 10.20 is not super late but apparently it wasn't seen by a lot of people as this more than likely was in a rural area of Kentucky, but that was an excellent capture by their outdoor security camera of a bright green fireball above Kentucky on January the 12th. Also in this video, I want to talk about a high-speed eruption that occurred on the far side of the sun. They're even talking about it over here at spaceweather.com, and it sent off a huge plume of plasma. Luckily, this was not Earth-directed. I want to show you guys the, the solar flare and CME right there. That's Venus up in the upper right hand corner this generated a 360 degree full halo as that departed the, the back side of the sun on January the 12th of 2022. They're saying over at spaceweather.com that that could have been an X-class solar flare that was not Earth directed. Here it is at the Lasco C2 instrument and you can see it up a little closer. I paused it because of its exceptional speed. This thing was moving so fast right there I paused it again. That's a large huge plume of plasma that exited the back side of the sun. Now we're over at the Solar Dynamics Observatory. You can see right there, if you blinked, you would have missed it. It came off there so fast. That would have made it to the Earth in just a matter of a few hours. And when I compare that to when I see that, see how fast that came off there? That is incredible. Um, the Carrington event, the Carrington event of 1859 was an Earth-directed high-speed solar flare CME that made it to the Earth in 17 hours. I would say that this is somewhere in the neighborhood of a Carrington-class event, just based off of the optics of this thing and how fast it came off the surface of the sun. Just by looking at this thing, the optics and how fast it came off the surface of the sun, that had to have been somewhere in the neighborhood of a Carrington-class solar flare that, again, made it to the Earth in 17 hours. This one was not Earth-directed, but if it were, it probably would have arrived here rather quickly, just simply based off of what we're seeing right there. Again, that was a humongous far side solar eruption, and that active region is turning towards the Earth right now as I do this video. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. But first, I want to talk about this snowstorm that is brewing right now as I do this video. You can see this energy diving down through the central plains. Right now, it's in North Dakota and eastern Montana and then of course southern Canada this energy is going to bring a lot of snow through the central plains basically through where you see right now the Dakotas Minnesota Iowa parts of Nebraska down into Missouri, Illinois, and Arkansas. Then this thing's going to pivot, and it's going to join forces with some energy that's coming up through the Gulf of Mexico. That energy and moisture is going to equate into a very large snow event extending from northern Alabama, northern Georgia, all the way up to Newfoundland over the weekend into Monday. You're seeing a big V over here at windy.com. This is the five day forecast. That V is starting to form over here at the GO 16. This is real time. Again, this is the five day forecast. And you can see the, the first leg of this storm coming down through the states that I just spoke of. Then it's going to join forces with some more energy coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. And it's going to extend over multiple states, bringing multiple inches of snow between Friday and Saturday over here on the left and then Sunday to Monday from northern Alabama again all the way up into Newfoundland several inches of snow with very high winds so look for this map to change exponentially over the next few days especially east of the Mississippi River as this snow starts to accumulate in New York Pennsylvania West Virginia Virginia 
parts of eastern Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, the Carolinas, parts of northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, northern Georgia, uh, multiple places up here in New England, including Maine. You guys could see large amounts of snow associated with high winds. And again, that is a combination for power outages. So look for power outages in these areas over the next 72 to 96 hours. I wanted to show you guys a, a little slideshow I put together of this storm as it's unfolding over here at PivotalWeather.com. This is the first leg of the storm coming down through the Dakotas, Iowa, Minnesota, Missouri. It joins forces with another system that's going to move north up into Newfoundland. This is going to be a major snowstorm event bringing several inches of snow. You can see a photo here sent in by Lisby out of New York. A frozen fountain in New York right now as I do this video and that's going to be covered with snow over the next few days. The, the purples and blues and burgundies are anywhere from 10 to 12 all the way up to 18 inches of snow and quite possibly more over the next 96 hours. So again, look for heavy snow and possible power outages this weekend into Monday. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomenon photos sent from all around the world. Going over to Poland, photo sent in by Cardi. This is unedited, exactly the way I received it. Valerie G out of Nebraska, Another purple sky, once again, unedited. Really cool photos here by Patty D out of Nixon, Missouri. Pay attention to this weird cloud here. That's what caught her attention, and that's why she took the photos. This looks like some sort of a three-dimensional like cube or something up in the sky. Looked totally out of place. That's what compelled her to take the photographs and share them with me, and I'm simply sharing them with you guys. I did do a little bit of adjusting of the color and lighting on this one to try to pull forward any shadows or anything like that. And that's what showed up. Looked like some sort of a weird chip in the sky. Mike Ian out of Buffalo, New York. Looked like a meteor went through the daytime sky. Mark from Ozone Park, New York. You can see a big hole punch cloud, very low on the horizon. Speaking of low on the horizon, this photo here was sent in by Moss out of the Netherlands. And you can see what looks like a perfect triangle hanging below that row of clouds in the sky off in the distance visible in the Netherlands. Here's a close-up view of what looks like a perfect triangle. In this next enhancement, it almost looks like a three-dimensional pyramid in the sky above the Netherlands. Great observation. And these next photos were sent in by Carly out of Houston, Texas. Very bizarre looking clouds. Almost looks like a, a giant white Lego up in the sky. Get a load of that, would you? How does something like that even happen? That is obviously why she took the photos of the very unique clouds in the daytime sky. Great job, guys. Keep the photos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website and sometimes I'll use them in a video just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.